Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today I'm going to show you something really interesting. Facebook Live Reactions. Um, this is a very interesting topic because it allows you to live stream to Facebook and get real time um, basically reporting on the emojis that people are using to react to your post and it's been used in quite a few different ways uh, and I'm really excited about like kind of the ways that it's been used and I'm gonna have OBS on one side um, Facebook live on the other and show you how easy it is to use this platform and um, it's, it's really great let me show you exactly what's needed to get set up and we have a video that goes into a lot of detail on this so I'm just gonna show you it working and explain what's going on in OBS and then uh, I'm gonna refer to the other program the other video that really goes into the details so what you need is a Facebook account obviously to live stream to you need a Facebook developer access token which is completely free you go to developers.facebook.com you create an app and you get your access token you need to locate your Facebook post ID I show that how to do that in the video I'll quickly show you how to do it here um, and the, the larger longer video about how this all works it's like 15 minutes and then you do need a server and a little HTML knowledge um, very minimal HTML knowledge you just need to copy and paste two things and then you might want to use a little bit of um, Photoshop knowledge as well that's totally up to you okay so let's get started um, I'm gonna switch over to my OBS over here so here's OBS and basically I have OBS on the right and I have Facebook on the left so I'm live streaming to Facebook right now um, and you can see I have one love for the HDSTI and zero likes for the USB 3 just to show you this is working I'm gonna go over here and instead of love I'm gonna switch to like and that will update and you see it just updated there and then it will also update on my live stream here you know usually there's a little bit of latency so how does all this work well first of all let me show you the files that you need to download um, again to getting the Facebook developer token access token getting your post ID that's all explained in the video below this is just to kind of show OBS users how, a couple different ways on how to use this so these files you can download on the link below and basically they're HTML web pages that reach out to Facebook and get reporting on a given uh, live show and I'm gonna briefly um, show you guys um, the stuff in a second here but the first thing I have to do is uh, so you get the Facebook token you get the um, okay good I want to double check and make sure that I wasn't showing that off you get the developer app you get the post ID and you have the server so let's go over here so basically um, I'll open up one of these web pages but I have to delete my post ID and my token because I can't expose those so just give me one second okay so here is what the, the, the source code looks like the original source comes from github here um, you, I'm gonna leave this link in the description below so you guys can access it um, it's basically built off of a background URL so um, basically this is my background oh not that sorry it's the other one um, this one here this is my background for my live from the live stream for the for the web page um, and then the reporting is kind of overlaid via CSS up here so um, you can I have a Photoshop file you can edit this change this or if you'd like you can actually just have the whole background be green and you can chroma key it out which is kind of cool uh, as well so that's another option um, so back to the source code really quickly there's only a couple things you need to know one is you, you put your background URL there and then two you paste your Facebook access token there and your post ID here once that's done you upload all the files all of these files to your server your server then hosts a web page let's open up this and let's open back up our Facebook 
okay? The, your server hosts a web page, which if we go to properties, you can see here is the web page that my server is hosting. Boom. And you can see there that it's already doing the reporting. Now it's, it's, it's in 1920 by 1080, so it usually needs to be fully stretched out. But that's how it looks. And you literally go into OBS, you use the browser input, add browser source, and I've already done that. You go into properties and you just make it 1920 by 1080 and 29, maybe it should be 30 frames per second. That really doesn't matter. I could be two frames a second. This is a static image. Um, geez, doesn't look too fast. Two frames per second, does it? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, the other thing I noticed is in the last video, just to kind of last little thing here, is that you do want to go in here and hit there's a button for refresh cache of current page it OBS will cache the page and um, every like if you've cha if you've basically uploaded a new file with a new live stream um, key you need to update the cache that's all that was an issue I had before and that's it then you can simply use Facebook Live. Um, you can pull in Facebook Live information on your live streams in OBS. And that's it. It's pretty cool. Uh, let, it, let me know what you think in the links below. And uh, we hope that uh, you take our course, which is completely free, on OBS and learn a little bit more. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.